feeling inspired, so I've got to record something tonight. And every, I think everyone underestimates uh, the information age, the information revolution. I think just about everyone underestimates how much it's going to change things. Everyone knows here in 2019, things feel different, things feel strange uh, with politics and the mess of politics and Trump. Everyone says, you know, things are weird. When are things going to go back to normal? When are things going to go back to the way they were? A, things are never going back to normal. B, things are going to change at an accelerating rate moving forward, an exponential rate. I think the change is of such magnitude that just about everyone on the planet is limited by their mental inertia and can't comprehend or grasp the size of the information wave that is just hitting us in the past few years. This deluge where most people would think, yeah, uh, the internet, information age, things are crazy, it's changing things. But most people think the information wave is three feet or a five foot wave or maybe a 10 foot wave. I think it's way bigger than that. I think it is a tsunami, the likes of which we have never seen before. A Laird Hamilton-esque monumental monster crashing down on all of us and all of our institutions, be that media, be that academics, uh, all of our mental models of the world and our psyches fundamentally tether us down to this old world, this 20th century model of the world. That's going to completely be deluged and inundated by this wave in our lifetime. The next 10, 20 years, we don't know the exact time horizons, but this change is going to be so dramatic and almost no one is equipped either within their internal world and their internal frameworks of the world and the external environment in which they operate. Again, academics, massive sclerotic bureaucracies, um, uh, these media institutions that prey on our amygdalas and get us to just consume the most utter inane uh, trivialities that we uh, are just distracted by. And that's why everything so, feels so weird. This unbelievably large wave that's coming has already been hitting us uh, here in the past five to ten years presents a tremendous opportunity because... The thing is, these technologies are fundamentally agnostic. They're neither good nor bad. Now, we're seeing a lot of the negative effects of these technologies, right? The uh, way that it tears the fabric of our society apart through this, you know, tribal echo chambers on Facebook and social media, right? And the distraction and everything that that causes. But there's also tremendous good and tremendous upside uh, available from these technologies. Uh, we have access to information like we've never seen it before. And if you can find a way to harness that information in a productive way, uh, you can actually retain more information per person than ever before. And that is also accelerating at an uh, 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 exponential rate. If you look at building a second brain, uh, or if you look at apps like Instapaper and these methods where you can create folders of uh, just almost endless curated information, really, really good information. There's more good ideas than there have ever been before. And we can capture those ideas in ways which we were never able to before. And as smart people start doing this, their rate of learning and knowledge will also increase exponentially. Just like the bad stuff is increasing exponentially, the good stuff is going to be increasing exponentially as well. So we can harness this good trend. We don't know uh, the level to which we will be able to make uh, connections and uh, have deeper understandings about the world and our place in it because we've never seen this exponential growth. Individuals' capacities to learn can exponentially increase if these tools are used correctly. On top of that, society's collective ability to learn will increase exponentially because these digital tools allow us to connect uh, people across the globe who have never been connected before and share ideas uh, in these ways that allow uh, ideas and learning to flourish like never before. And in the next 10 years, when 2 billion more people come online, this will even be more so. So we're pushing 
the absolute limits of humans being awash in disinformation, but also we can simultaneously push the limits of humans uh, harnessing information and turning that massive information into uh, knowledge and into wisdom and wisdom that we can apply to society, right? And so as this massive wave comes, I picture the sort of blue church institutions, the, 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 the media, academics, people's conventional wisdom, uh, their models of the world. It's like this mass of tethered folks floating in the ocean. They're all tethered together and they're all splashing on social media. And they're, all, they're all missing the bigger picture and not understanding how much things are going to change. But as this wave arrives, because they're tethered down to CNN preying on their amygdalas and they're tethered down to their old ways of thinking, they're just going to get crushed by the tsunami. They're going to get crushed. Um, and we're already seeing it. We've been getting crushed since the 2016 election, if not before. Just everyone knows things just feel weird now, feels different. We're getting hit by the initial, you know, force of this tsunami that no one realizes is, is hitting us. But what if we can empower people? What if we can give people surfboards and allow them to break free from the tethers of the old guard, of the old uh, information age, and give people uh, the pre-information age, and give people surfboards to surf the tsunami as sovereign individuals and connect with others, other sovereign individuals and produce learning and knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the world like we've never seen it before. I think we can fundamentally disrupt education, fundamentally disrupt media, change the way people understand the world and this will change how we shape the world and we can do this through curating the best stuff out there and all these great ideas are hidden in like dormant in podcasts and books and book notes and youtube channels and video essays all these new mediums we barely even understand i mean podcasts and youtube are so underrated we're in the top of the first inning with those mediums and when we unleash their power and harness their power and channel that power in productive ways good people who are tethered uh, unknowingly and helplessly and against their will to the old guard this mass of the old guard floating in the ocean it will dawn on them that uh, there's the good stuff is out there and if we can be uh, digital 49ers and find those gems and find that gold and then equip good and uh, thoughtful people who are stuck right now in the old guard and equip them with a way to surface information wave. Um, I think we can unleash uh, learning and knowledge and uh, unleash our capacities for human flourishing like we've never uh, seen before. And it's absolutely thrilling thinking about what the future could potentially hold. Um, so it's uh, an uh, incredible time to be alive and technology is neither good nor bad. It's an agnostic tool and we collectively get to decide, decide how we're going to use it. So let's push the frontiers of knowledge. Let's fill in the white space on the map of human understanding. Let's be digital cartographers carving our way into the uh, brave new information age. And let's harness the tremendous power of good that lies dormant in this information tsunami that's hitting us right now.